Hi there, my name's Nick and I'm here to do the first of what may be only one video, <laughs> depending on how it goes, um, to try and being a familiar face to doing some bits and arts and crafts like we would normally do together, but not in these circumstances. I've got my makeshift um, studio here and the plan is to do a sock puppet. Yeah, really, because they're great. They're so much fun. Yes, they are. So if you're ready, I'm going to try and get ready. Let's have a go at this. You ready? Yes, you're ready. Let's go. See you in a minute. Right, so here we are back with the crafting table, ready to do step one. And step one is making the mag, which obviously is the most important part really of a sock puppet. You can do all sorts of things just with the mag and the sock. Take your sock, any old sock, um, socks that have been mysteriously separated from others in the washing machine, socks with holes in the toe, whatever. The only thing I would say is make sure that the heel is always at the top okay because that is the top of the head now first first thing you do turn the sock inside out and put the toe facing away from you you will be looking for to make the mouth you will be looking for something that is circular that will go round and fit the bottom of the toe i've got this plastic cup here it sort of fits the toe perfectly and uh, we're going to draw around some cardboard i've got a bit of dog food cardboard cereal packet biscuit packet anything like that will do it really is just as simple as grabbing your pencil drawing a circle round your card and quickly cutting it out um, now you may have already guessed that i'm not used to making a video. Um, I'm not a crafter, I'm not a video maker, but that doesn't matter. We're in, a, in this together and if mistakes happen, mistakes happen. Not a problem. Got your card, got your circle. We're now going to do the obvious thing and we're going to cut that circle in half. Okay, so you fold it down, you've got a nice crease line and a quick cut down the middle good job done and now we're going to of course having cut it in half we're now of course going to stick it back together again but this time with a bit of a gap get your tape any tape parcel tape whatever and just stick it leaving roughly well, just under a centimeter gap between the two so that the mouth will open really well. Once you've done that, you stick it down again on the other side, covering it up and then just trim off the edges like so. Okay, perfect job. Um, the next thing we do is we get our glue and we put our glue on the one side of the cardboard and then we are going to stick it so that the straight edge is along the toe like this and I don't know if you can see but we're doing it so that there is a it's not going over the sellotape in the middle and we're going to use our clothes pegs just to hold that in place and once this is done we're going to fold the top over and stick down the other side okay let's see if we can do this right so we're back i have used the clothes pegs to sellotape uh, to sorry to stick the mouth down which hopefully I can now remove and I'm going to turn the 
socket the right way round. Just hold on to the cardboard and I like this bit because this bit gives you your beginnings of your sock puppet. Just turning it inside out like so and heel to the top and you will see very quickly that even without any other things you've now got a sock puppet. Brilliant. Okay. Next thing, I think he needs a tongue. He, she, it needs a tongue. I've got some pink material here and I want a tongue that's going to fit in here. So I need a circle that is slightly smaller than the mouth and I'm just going to create a semicircle. I'm just going to cut that semicircle out. And then I'm going to use my clothes pegs, just like pins really, and just with the material that I've chosen for the tongue, I'm going to um, Any material do. Felt is good. Um, this is stretch material, which is a bit of a nightmare to work with, but you know, just round we go. There you are, you've got your semicircle. Take those off, pop that to the one side, open up the mouth, and we're going to just stick. do this. Step two done. Okay, we've got a mouth and we've got the tongue stuck in on the bottom because we keep the heel to the top. Next thing is eyes. Now I cheated um, with this one. I did have some polystyrene eggs and I sliced off the top and I cut that in half. With our friend here, I've used the bottom of egg cartons and um, with the friend at the back here he's he's got uh, bottle top eyes covered in paper so you've got lots of options I wanted to show you another option so I've got a bit of tired old um, tin foil which I'm going to use and I am just going to roll it up like so and make a couple of eyes. Not bad, almost, almost the same sort of size, but it doesn't matter too much. Right, um, the next thing is I'm just going to push them down a little bit because they need to be flat to stick on here and I'm actually going to stick them on a bit of cardboard. The also, also, I just need to make an indent, just a little flat surface on the front because I want to stick the um, pupils of the eyes. Scrap a black paper, fold it in half, it's only going to be really small, so um, using a, a, a felt tip pen or, or biro, whatever, just go around a small gap There you go, um, oops, scissors, and we're going to just cut out a couple of circles, small circles to stick on those eyes. We're going to stick the eyes to the cardboard and we're going to stick the cardboard to the face. Now, you can just cut a tiny little mean bit of a sliver out, so cut to the middle and then cut a really thin slither of cake until you are left with bits of paper until you are left with eyes like so that we will stick onto here. OK, 
Okay. Um, the only other top tip I would give you, put your hand in your puppet, puppet bend your, hat, your knuckles here because you don't want the eyes to sit on the knuckles. You want your eyes on the flat bit. And with the pen, which I put the lid on, um, just mark off where you're going to put the eyes. Okay, right. And then you stick them to the paper, to the card, card to here, eyes done. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here he is with his eyes. Um, now you can do ears, you can do um, hair. I think we could do ears on this one. And I've, I've chosen a bit of card. I'm going to make some circular ears and I've cut these shapes out, a sort of ear type shape. And I thought we could bend these ears round and again, putting the glue on, putting the glue on the card, we can stick them like this. Okay, giving us Okay, so you know I said this is going to be a simple process. It isn't. Um, I've discovered that it doesn't stick terribly well to tin foil. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make a few shallow half centimetre cuts on the bottom of the ear and fold it back like so. Okay, so you've now got the ear with the pieces folded back. You're then going to wrap it round and it's on here that you're going to stick it and then you're going to stick it onto the card, okay? Add the glue to the um, roundy ear as well, but I'm finding that the tin foil really doesn't take terribly well. Okay, let's try that. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're making really good progress here, but I would like to add a nose and possibly some hair. The nose, I think I'm just going to put a blob of cotton wool. But the hair, let me show you what I could do. Either with some cut up pieces of material or some wool, grab a piece of cardboard and wrap what you want your hair to be around the cardboard, like so right the way around until you think you've got enough hair to be going on with. When you've got it enough, slide it off the cardboard and you have this, okay, which will act as the hair. I'm going to use a ribbon to tie around the middle and then I'm going to stick it to the sock puppet. And then I think we've done the finishing touches. Okay, let's try this, see what it looks like. Right, so this is the final sock puppet effort. Very splendid nose, rather splendid hair, ears and a bow. And, well, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been an experience from my point of view too, but bye bye. Sweet, I think. Bye.